I'm in the parking lot of Walmart here in my car with the air blown. Um, showing this off here, this is one of my tiny child rigs. But really what I'm trying to show off is how I use the weights. It's really not a weight. It's really just a cheap little screw. That's right. Obviously, I painted the tips black. I do use um, um, uh, not pro enamel, but I use the, uh, the the paint on it that hardens. Uh, this is actually just fingernail polish, but I normally use the. Uh, oh God, I can't think of the name of it. <laughs> no, it'll come to me here in a minute. But anyway, but instead of buying the Nico ways, which you get three for like six bucks or some astronomical number. Use the sheet metal screws. For one thing, they're cheap. This here's 10 for a buck something. I got these at Ace Hardware. Um, I have a couple different sizes I use. So you can use these. They work much better. Like I said, they're cheaper. If you lose them, they buy, they degrade in the water. They're stainless steel screws. So we're not stainless steel. They're just steel. So what happens is uh, they just they rust out and, and wind up uh, dissipating. But a lot cheaper. Like I said, you get 10 for the price of... Uh, not even one tungsten. Now, they are lighter than tungsten, but they're still very heavy. Like these ones here are pretty small. I do have some others here. Let me pull them up here real quick. I notice I have... Let's go with that here. These ones are a little bit bigger. These ones here. Now, see, these ones are a little longer. These are the three-quarter inch, the 12 by three-quarter. These are a pretty good weight. It's got a lot of, a lot of heft to these. So believe it or not, these will get a, a bait down fast. Even in, you know, 15, 20 foot of water, I use these in. And uh, it, it's a pretty good size weight, believe it or not. They screw right in nice and easy. Um, if you're using Cinco's, what I would do is take a, just a drill bit with you. You know, a Phillips drill bit tip. One of the little longer ones you get in one of these kits for free. Take it with you, throw it in your tackle box, and you just screw them right into the bait. Start the hole with the, uh, the tip of the hook, you know. Use the tip of the... You hook at that end, kind of shove it in there. It gets you a pilot hole, and you kind of screw it in. And it holds in good. I don't even bother uh, super gluing because they're cheap enough that even if you lose them, you don't care. If you do the fingernail polish thing, I use a pool noodle, and I cut a pool noodle in half and stand them up. And I go through and paint 20 at a time and then throw them back in a box. And, uh, yeah, it works out. It's a nice, uh, cheap, easy trick. And they work good for, like I said, this is the tiny child. I have it kind of rigged up to show it off. Um, you can see it actually looks pretty good in the... And the worm, it's not too bad. Look, see, fits right up against there nicely. That's how it looks. You can paint them any color you want. So if you want green ones, you can do green. You want black, you can do black, white. You can do whatever color you want. But they also work for Nico rigging. If you're going to use it for Nico, uh, they work really well for that. Um, if you're punch weights, you know, if you want to do a punch weight with some type of bug, you can do the same thing. You rig it up the exact same way, except for you put the hook on the opposite end. You put the uh, hook where the, uh, where the claws are on the... Uh, on the creature bait and stick the uh, the weight here in the, the nose of the bait and uh, it makes for a pretty good punch weight I mean punch bait and weight setup so a lot cheaper than most things you can do but anyway there you go there's a cheap one there you can get them some 20 packs you can get some 10 packs like I said these were a 10 pack I think at uh, Ace Hardware for a buck something and they're just sheet metal screws they work well and it'll save you some cash. So if you're looking to get some weights but not break the bank, and, and if you lose a lot of them, and you know you're not looking to uh, to, to uh, pollute the lake with lead or or you know save the tungsten industry on your own, this is a cheap way of doing it. But anyway, check it out and uh, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Talk to you later.